whose land is it? The question from the Clarendon Municipal Corporation to the sugar company of Jamaica SCJ Holdings after a woman produced a land title in court last week for a section of Salt River which the local authority leased for development. Now as Krista Campbell reports, the woman has been in a legal battle with the Municipal Corporation over breaches of the Building Permit Act. Inviting scenes at the Salt River Mineral Spa in southeast Clarendon, especially as hotter temperatures give rise to scorching days. But beneath the seeming calm of these cool waters, an enduring battle is heating up over ownership of the lands surrounding this famed water source. Victoria Williams has been in the thick of things. I have been here with my children for almost 40 years and more. I came here with my girls as a small girl. Nobody was here and nothing was here. I made this place into what it is today that other people can see and come in and want to do the same thing. All of them had built illegally. They would have gone ahead and they would have put up structures without the permission of the municipal corporation. But Ms. Williams is the only vendor that's been in a legal showdown with the local authority over the structure she's built. The man in the parish council came to court. He said, I built in a road. I tear down the wall where they said, I said, I built place, I tear down. And then still, I said, I built tear down more. Maybe I have three plans, three different plans when I draw. Because they said, I need a plan. And I draw a plan, I get a technical, technical team come. Because of them advise me what to do. And all of them I do, they still have me in a quota and still I say they want to hold me stop for come down. Councillor for the Hayes Division, where the Salt River Mineral Spa is located, C. and Barnswell, says the sugar company of Jamaica, SCJ Holdings, owns the lands and in 2016 leased five acres of it to the municipal corporation for 20 years. He says the corporation is trying to develop the area for the vendors to make more out of it constructing rather a public sanitary convenience and a sample shop um, as to how we want the place to be looking uniform. We have done some aesthetics work to the front, a little garden and some solar lighting. We have also provided CCTV camera. Can they have a parking at my place and sell my park, plant flowers yes so. My building they say me fi chop it down because they want it to plant flowers. But in court last week, a bombshell revelation the local representatives say has sent them into a tailspin concerning their development plans. I present my title Thursday morning in court and it's killing them because they take everybody for a damn fool and I am not a fool even when I didn't go to school. Let's say it was sold to the individual by SCJ Olden. SCJ Olin being the lessor, I think they would have said something to the municipal corporation that, hey, we're going to sell this piece of property within the five acres that you have leased. Are you interested in purchasing the same? That wasn't communicated to the municipal corporation. The council will now engage SCJ to find out whether or not they would have sold any parcel of land there prior to or after we had lease that property from them. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.